Hello, Geminis. Welcome back to the channel. It's a scene tarot, and today we're going to do another see what the tarot deck have for you. Hello. Hello. Let's see what messages they want you to know. Geminis, welcome back. Okay. Um, if you are new here, remember to like the video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what resonated. When you do like the video, you help out this channel a lot with YouTube. YouTube only recognizes videos that get likes, honey. So if it resonates, like the video, and then, you know, this video will be pushed to a bigger audience to help this channel grow. And we've been doing so good, y'all. We had 2,000 subscribers. Hello. Hello. We did that. <laughs> Anyways, if it didn't resonate, I will have a link down in the description box with a playlist, you guys, and it will have all messages for Geminis. All right, let's get started. What's going on with Geminis, angels? Every, anything you want Geminis to know with their lives? What messages do you have for Geminis, please? What messages do you have for Gemini's. Somebody's going under detective mode. Hello. Trying to find the answers. Hmm. One more card for that. All right. Gemini's, please. Ooh, come on. One at a time, please. Gemini's. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see, Gemini, what's on the back of the deck. Okay. We're going to talk about that in your, um, the ending of your reading. Okay. We have the Hermit. Okay. You have the King of Swords. You have the, the Knight of Pentacles coming through. And your last card is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. All right, so we're going to talk about those, like I said, on the end of your reading. Let's see what's going on here. Somebody's going on to detective mode. They're trying to find out what's going on, okay? They're trying to find the clarity that they need with this situation, okay? Because somebody's putting, leaving too many holes in this relationship. So this person feels like, you know, they are not, like somebody's not making this person feel like they are wanted. There are enough, like, like there is just too many holes, okay? Too many holes. So this person is going on detective mode to see what's going on because they are trying to make a decision with this, with a two of swords, okay? They want to bring peace to this. They want to find out, huh, what's going on here? So I can make peace with this, so I can make a decision, final decision, and bring peace to this situation and let it go, okay? And a two of swords. You know, this person wants to move forward with this relationship. They want to go to the next level, Okay, if you're moving in with each other, buying a house with each other, even engagement, they want to move forward with this relationship because they want the two of wands. They want that relationship that they always wanted, that offer, that offer that, you know, that involves everything in their world, okay, that they dream about as a child. And they feel like they might not have that with you. They might not have that with, or you might feel like this about your person, but somebody here is feeling like, I might not have this. I might not, I might need to like <laughs> rethink everything because, but they, at the same time, they're like, I really want to move forward with this relationship though. But they're knowing that they might not get what they want with this person. And they know that they need to go and like, put peace to the situation with the four of swords here are the four of swords and i feel like this person is doing this as we speak they're finding clarity okay don't get me wrong they're finding clarity but they're still trying to make peace they're trying to find peace okay and so this person is going under relaxation trying to meditate because somebody's giving this person stress honey it's all about stress somebody's bringing some stress into somebody's life and they're trying to meditate and they're trying to come to peace and grips and move forward so they can make a decision about what they need to do okay because this person feels content with themselves they feel strong enough to do this in the world cup they feel like they've been what i said the world cup <laughs> Did I do my head down here? Y'all see my head? Okay. 
this person really just tried to they're trying they're trying to say that they have they they seen the world okay they did everything they're in content with themselves and all they want is somebody to share their world with okay and this is also indicating like okay yeah this person realized that they really care about this person that they want two of wands with and they're their world like you know they, they really adore this person, but at the same time, this person has given them a lot of stress, okay? Because here is somebody feel bored in their relationship. Here is somebody giving some, getting some love from somebody, but they're like, I'm not too sure about this daggone relationship. I don't want this cup no more. This cup is annoying. This cup is not fulfilling for me. This cup is empty. Like, as you can see, one of the cups in front of this picture, like, every every other cup has water coming out of it, right? And then this cup right here in front of this person is empty, okay? <laughs> they feel like the cup is just empty. The offer that this person has given them is empty. It's no promises in this um connection. Then here comes justice. Whoever... Listen, whoever is doing bad with this this person, they're going to get their karma because this is going to fall on this on you. Like whoever is doing good and being a good person in this connection, they're going to find a clarity and the, things are going to fall in their favor because they're going to get the 10 of pentacles, honey, with you or without you, you know, with that person or without that person. That's what I'm, I am to say, okay? This person is going to get the ten of pentacles all right <laughs> which is happiness abundance okay a life you know a family everything that they always wanted they're financially secured in their relationship okay this is what somebody is working towards this is what they want and this person is somebody's given someone an empty cup here okay an empty cup is not fulfilling okay we have the king of pentacles here Somebody's just focused on their money right now, being really selfish with themselves right now, not caring about what other people, are, you know, want around them. You know what I'm saying? They're just really selfish because I feel like somebody is hurt. Somebody is hurt in this relationship. It's just so funny how you have the five of cups here, you have the four of cups. Okay? You felt, like I said, somebody is giving someone an empty offer, giving somebody empty love, empty promises, making empty promises, right? And here we have the five of cups where somebody feel abandoned in this relationship. Somebody feel abandoned in this relationship. Like these cups are just, somebody feel like they don't got no, no love here. Nothing coming on. Like they have options, but they don't see it because they're so focused on what they don't have at this moment. Like they have options around them, like love around them, but they just don't see it because and you can't blame you. I can't blame that person. I can't say because, you know, when you're going through something, your focus is on one person. You don't see what's actually around you. You don't. This person has two extra cups, two people that's in love or want to be with, in love with them or want to, you know, try to have a relationship with them. But they don't he, they, they don't want that. They're so focused on what, you know, what's going on in front of them. OK. Um, and then you have the, the queen of wands here. You know, it's just so funny how these two cards are beside each other, which tells a story, you know. This person feel alone, abandoned in their relationship, and because of all of this, this person feels unfocused, unconfident in themselves, not ready to just to be with anybody. I feel like this person is just, somebody is just upset. Upset and just, you know what, you know what, forget about this. Forget about this connection. They're ready to just throw this connection away and say, just forget about this. I, I, I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to do me. I'm going to make my money. You know, but at the same time, they don't know that the universe is watching and justice will fall on your, the, the person that's doing good in this connection or being a better person and the person that did you wrong, justice will prevail and they will have their karma because you're going to be happy. Okay. You're going to be happy. Hmm. All right. So let's see what this cards are saying. Gemini's. Let's just see what's going on. Um, this could be your energy or your person energy. Whoever is stronger might come through or it could be both of your energy, okay? Just take it as it resonates, okay? As I'm talking about this. So this is behind the scenes. This, you know, if this is what's happening that no, that you don't see what's going on, okay? Um, we have the seven of 
pentacles, okay? If this someone wasn't ready to invest, just know they're investing now. They're ready to invest, okay? They are, you know, ready to do this and to, to give this relationship what it has been missing, okay? Um, so this is what this person is working on at this present time. Or this could be that somebody is working towards a home. Somebody is working towards a new car. Somebody is working towards investing stock into something. But I truly feel like somebody is just telling me, well, you know, I wasn't ready to invest before, but I'm ready to invest in this relationship, okay? Because here we have the Knight of Pentacles right beside it. And this person is telling me that, you know, they, they feel like either you might not take their offer, okay? They're going to come in like a more like, okay, this is, you know, we, I think we're perfect for each other because you have a lot of pentacles here. You have the ten of pentacles and then you have the king of pentacles, you know, as well. And I feel like this is a, this is this is like the energy that's coming through. Like this person is like, well, I think we are we are great. We're ready to invest. I, I think we're ready to be together. We're ready. We're perfect for each other. We should invest in this. I'm ready to invest in this relationship because you know. Um, we can build a, a foundation together. You know, this is this person, the attitude is coming towards, you know, coming towards in this reading. And, you know, for some reason, also feel like they also feel like they might not get this because the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse and so is the King of Pentacles, you know? They feel like unsure about if this person might take their offer, um, but yet they're trying to offer this anyway, not coming off as oh, I'm in love with you, you know, with any kind of love thing. You know, they're more thinking about let's build a foundation together. We are perfect. We work well together, you know? We can build a life, an empire together, okay? Then we have the king of swords here. Somebody cut off all communications with this person, okay? Or someone is just not ready to communicate in the king of swords, okay? Then you have the hermit, you know? The hermit is here. Somebody is just moving forward with their life you know, um, with success, being successful by doing things on their own, okay? Um, and likes to be alone in this connection. Just like to do, like, like they like their alone time. I feel like somebody's telling me, oh, I like my alone time. I like to be alone, but that could be an issue in this relationship, okay? If you are with someone, you can't be alone all the time. You might make that person feel like you just don't want to deal with them at this at this time or that you know they're getting on your nerves or whatever so that's something that you need to fix if this is your energy but this is the energy that i'm seeing like somebody the hermit is like i i'm doing things on my own and it's not because they are hurt at this present time they just this is their personality they're used to this they're this is their norm just doing things you know getting their goals achieved on their own this is what i'm getting but anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this here, Geminis. I hope it resonates with you. If it did, go ahead and like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. If it didn't resonate, um, I'll have a link down below in the description box. Um, hopefully, one of those Gemini messages in the playlist resonate for you, okay? By liking this video, remember, it does help out here on YouTube. If, you know, you like the video, YouTube sees it and then push it into a, a, a more bigger audience. So, this channel can grow. And I, you guys have been doing a wonderful job doing that. Um, thank you so much for all your help and support. I can't believe we're at 2,000 subscribers at this present time, you guys, in three months. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, some people been on here a whole month and they, they get more than that. But I'm just like, wow, I never even expected it. So I am so grateful and thankful. And I, hopefully I will, you know, these messages do help you to understand what's going on not only with yourself, but with your person and, you know, to have patience if you choose to, to give that person patience because you understand a little bit more what that person is feeling. Because when we're on the, the physical world, you guys, we cannot, we will love to try to, um, to show people exactly how we feel, like how the cards here and the spirit lays out everything for us. But you know, in the real life, it's kind of cheesy if you tell people exactly how you feel, especially the first time you meet them and what you really want, right? Like with the 10 of pentacles, I want happiness, I want abundance with you. And you know, it depends on how long this person been with someone. It could be two months, it could be a month or a year. And this person is just not, people are just not comfortable enough to let people know exactly what they truly want, right? And to move forward in this relationship and give happiness and get married. Because when you tell people that, they get kind of scared and you know, 
crazy at times, right? If that if there's not the right person, you're telling them, oh, I want to get married. I see us, you know, married with children and stuff like that. You know, you don't want to scare people away. So, but this is what this person truly, truly wants is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And this person will actually get it. Like whoever is doing good in this, karma is falling on your side and you will get what you, you want and that person will get their karma if they're choosing to do bad things onto you, okay? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave it here and I'll see you guys in your next video. Love you guys. Bye.